What's up everyone and welcome to today's 10 minute core and mobility workout. Today for the next 10 minutes, we're really focusing on core and specifically our deep core. So we're really gonna take things up one more level. Lots of control through these exercises. You're gonna see anything from bird dog to dead bug when working some planks, some side planks, some partial get up sit ups. All of my favorites in this workout. And again, it's 10 minutes of work. Let's go get started. So let's bring it on down to the floor. I'm gonna have you get started right in the hip bridge. So you're gonna be flat on your back, lower back is driving into the floor. Make sure it's really glued to the floor here. Hands are going to be right by your side, you're on your heels. I want you to come into this good solid hip bridge, okay? So I want you to lift those hips on up, really focus on firing up hamstrings, glutes here, posterior chain, back side of your body, and bracing your core. Think about exhale as you push away from the floor there. And let's just stay committed in these bridges right here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Awesome, so now I want you to come right into a dead bug. So legs are going to be bent right at 90, arms are going to be straight up right from your shoulders, lower back pinned to the floor. Let's go opposite arm, opposite leg. So as you extend right arm overhead, let's kick that left leg out, bring it to that neutral starting position, then bring it to the opposite side. Continue to alternate with these. Focus on your breathing as well, lots of core control. So as you extend overhead and extend that leg on out, I want you to exhale, okay? That's your exhale, return to starting, perfect. Awesome, now let's just bring it right into tabletop position. So I just want you right on all fours. I'm gonna have you extend opposite arm, opposite leg. So I want you to extend right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Back is going to stay nice and flat here, okay? Make sure no rounded spine. Exhale on this extension. Awesome, let's go right back onto your back. We're gonna come right back into this bridge, except for on this one, I'm gonna have you add the march if you're up for it. So what that's going to look like, same starting position, lower back to the floor, hands by your side, you're on your heels. It's bridge on up at the top. I want you to march one, bring it to neutral, and then bring it down to the floor, and then bridge up, march two. If at any point you just wanna keep these bridges straight up, straight down, and take out that march, you can, as that march is a little bit more challenging. Here we go, really brace your core. Hamstrings, glutes, fire. Awesome, let's bring it right back into this dead bug. So lower back to the floor, arms straight up, legs at 90, let's extend opposites. Really focus on that lower back to the floor here. Awesome, let's bring it right onto all fours. We're gonna go one more set here with this bird dog. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Back is nice and flat. We extend opposites, okay? Awesome, so let's go right back onto your back. From here, we're gonna come into a quarter get up, sit up. So what that's going to look like, you're flat on your back, right knee is going to be bent, right arm is going to be straight up, left leg out nice and straight on a little bit of an angle, left arm out to the side. I want you to roll all the way up into that forearm, okay? You're pulling up through your trunk. I want you to think like external obliques here as well. Bring it right back down the same way. I only want you to go up to your forearm on these, okay? Don't be afraid to roll up onto that hip of that straight leg, but you're pulling up and across through your trunk. All one side. Think about big chest at the top there. It's really pumping chest up. Bicep will track right by that ear. And then really focus on the breathing. So exhale as you come into that. Sit up there. Awesome, so let's bring it to the opposite side. Opposite side, so I was just doing right arm up, right knee bent, now I'm gonna flip it. Left arm up. Left knee bent, right arm out to the side, right leg out to the side. Let's get all the way up to that forearm, perfect. Roll up onto that forearm, bicep will track right by that ear. Pull up through your core. And good, awesome, perfect. So I'm gonna have you come right into bear position. So bear position, you're gonna get started tabletop. So hands under shoulders, knees are under hips. And then what we're gonna try to do here, while well, keeping your back nice and flat with lots of control, I just want you to lift your knees about two to three inches from the floor. Here's the deal. If you just wanna hold, we're gonna go for 20 seconds. So you could just hold, right? Just hold bear, which is a tough, tough 
weight a plank, okay? Essentially bear plank. If you wanna take it up a level, I'm gonna have you release your hand, right? So that's going to look like this. Just add this little bit of release. If you're like, Elise, let's go to the next level. I want you to release opposite hand, opposite foot. So what that's going to look like is we're here. Those are tough and you're gonna to continue to alternate on those, okay? Whatever version you like works for me, we're gonna go for 20 though. We're going bear plank, okay? Good, let's go. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, back is nice and flat. Again, if you just wanna hold, just hold. If you wanna add a little something to it, you could release that hand. And if you wanna to go to another level, you can release opposites. And again, these are tough though, okay? Breathe through it. Let's go last five. And good, awesome. You're gonna go right back onto your back. We're gonna go right back into that partial get up, sit up here. So right knee is going to be bent, right arm straight up, left arm out to the side, left leg out to the side. You could always add a weight here to this straight arm. Add a little resistance. Bring it all the way up to that forearm. Bring it right back down the same way. We're gonna go 30 seconds per side here. There we go, lots of control. Awesome, let's bring it to the opposite side. Let's bring it to the opposite side. And again, make sure you're pulling up through your trunk. Left knee bent, left arm straight up, could be opposites for you. Opposite side out to the side there. Get all the way up to that forearm, perfect. Full 30 here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Lots of control, we go for another five. And good, awesome. Let's bring you to our second set of this bear. This will be your final set from this bear plank. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Knees are about two, three inches from the floor. And again, if you just wanna hold, just hold. If you wanna add a little bit, you can release the hand. If you wanna take it up a level, you're gonna release opposite hand, opposite foot, okay? Good, let's lock it in for 20. There we go. Releasing opposites is so tough. You're probably seeing me kinda wobble back and forth a little bit, lock it in. Breathe, breathe, breathe. That back is super flat, okay? Last five. Awesome, let's go right on your back. Right on your back, good stuff. So we're gonna come right into a reverse crunch. With this reverse crunch, I'm gonna have you tap your toes. Sometimes we tap heels. Lower back is to the floor, hands right by your side. I want you to tap those toes and bring it to that neutral starting position, okay? If you need to modify this, I want you to alternate toe tap, okay? Alternate toe tap here. Lower back pinned to the floor, good, let's go for 30. But if you can, I want you to tap toes. Lifting and lowering with your trunk. Nothing going on low back here. Hands are right by your side. Continue to focus on that breathing. And again, if you wanna modify, you go alternating, okay? Breathe, 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 we go for another 10. And good, awesome, we're gonna bring it right into a side plank. So for the side plank, forearms directly underneath the shoulder, shoulder in line with this top hand, feet are stacked, back is nice and flat. If you wanna take this side plank up a level, I want you to add this scoop. But if you just wanna hold, just hold, we're gonna go for 20 from this point here, okay? Forearms directly underneath that shoulder. Again, you can add that scoop if you want to, that's totally optional. If you just wanna hold, just hold, side planks are tough. And if you wanna modify, heels are gonna come back behind your butt where you hold from here. Good straight lines, we go for another five. Awesome, let's bring it to the opposite side. Let's bring it to the opposite side with this side plank. Good, let's lock it in. Forearms directly underneath that shoulder, shoulder in line with that top hand. Again, you could add that scoop if you want to. You could also just hold. Last three, two, one, awesome. You're gonna go right back onto your back. We're gonna come right back into these toe taps from this reverse crunch position here. Hands are right by your side, lower back is protected, okay? We alternate with these toe taps, we go for 30. Last set, good, let's go. You can either alternate or go both at the same time. Lift and lower with your trunk. 
Really think about gluing that low back to the floor, okay? Glue that low back to the floor. We go last five. Awesome, let's bring it right into the side plank. Final set, we go left and right or right and left. 20 seconds per side here. Awesome work, everyone. Good, let's lock it in. Good straight lines here, forearms directly at that shoulder, shoulder in line with that top hand. Let's go for another five. Awesome, let's bring it to the opposite side. Let's bring it to the opposite side. Lock it in, we'll go in three, two, one. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And good, awesome, rest, rest, rest. I just want you to flip on over, push up through your hips, look up towards the ceiling. Good work, everyone. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Really get into that trunk here, into those hips. Good. Let's rock it all the way back. Drop your butt towards your heels. Outstretch your arms directly overhead. Awesome, let's just bring it into a low squat. Last stretch here. Elbows to the inside of your knees. You can kind of rock side to side. Great stuff, everyone. Crushed it. Awesome, let's bring it all the way up to standing. Great work, always a pleasure, and I'll see you at the next workout.